In this module, we will talk about again the agitator design and uh, its operation. As we have discussed in our previous module about the radial flow impellers, but in this module we will focus upon uh, Rushton turbine impellers. Actually, the Rushton turbine impellers are just like the radial flow impellers because mostly there is a small difference. So, mostly in uh, fermenters they are fabricated and uh, designed with Rushton turbine impellers. So, as you see here as we have already discussed in our previous module because radial flow impellers are mostly used when we need a high shear effect, when there is need to have more rupturing of the air bubbles and that is mostly in case of bacterial fermentations. But in Rushton turbine impellers, the blades number can be varied that can be varied from 4 to 6. Some Rushton turbine impellers have 4 blades and some have uh, 6 blades. The point here which we have already discussed while talking about the geometrical ratio of single impeller or a multi impellers that the ratio between the rust and turbine impeller width toward the diameter of the fermenter is 0 0.33. But you can directly see here that one third of the total diameter of the fermenter should be the width or the impeller space. So, the radial flow impellers and the rust and time uh, turbine impellers are mostly used when we need a high mass transfer in term of uh, oxygen solubility and oxygen need. So, that is about uh, that I have already talked uh, about the width of the impeller in case of the rust and turbine impellers. So, a rust and turbine is often referred to as a disc turbine too. So, the disc uh, design ensure that most of the uh, impellers because that need a more power. So, the motor which is uh, fixed to the shaft which rotate the impellers that need a more power because the most of the power utilize at uh, the tip of the agitator in radial flow impellers. So, that is why as concerned the maximizing the energy juice for the bubble shearing. So, in case of uh, this you can see in this uh, uh, diagram or a picture that how the disc turbine or we can say the Rushton turbine impellers. So, when they move that most of the energy because there is a more uh, resistant of the fermentation media in the path of the impellers when that will move. So, that is why as we have already discussed about that uh, when we use the radial flow impellers or the, in other word we can say that Rushton turbine impellers or a disc turbine impellers that require more uh, energy consumption. But that energy consumption is mostly used to rupture the air bubbles. So, if there will be a more resistance to that then there will be a more shear of that. So, that is why in case of uh, radial flow impellers then that is the maximum uh, effort to convert that power into creating a more shear effect in radial flow impellers while working in a fermented uh, fermentation vessel.